welcome back to spectrum classes today in this video i am going to show you working of glass ph electrode and its concept so here is the combined ph electrode a combination electrode have the glass hydrogen ion h plus ions sensitive electrode and an additional reference electrode both in one housing so this is the schematic diagram for the combined ph electrode and here is the refilling opening as in case of reference and you can see the outer shell right this is outer contain in outer container and here is the filling of electrolyte which is kcl and uh, here you can see this is the reference electrode which is dipped in this electrolyte and here is the junction right which serves as the connection between the reference electrode and the working solution here is the glass bulb which is having the glass membrane and here is the lid of element and which is dipped inside the buffer solution now you can see here is the combined electrode and i am showing you how it looks like these are walls and these are two electrodes one is reference electrode and one is ph electrode and here we are having the glass membrane right and this glass inside this glass membrane if you can see here up to this level here we are having the buffer solution which is inside this and in outside cells we are having the electrolyte solution which is kcl and now how it works when we place it into the acidic solution how this ph is going to be measured by using these glass electrode as well as reference electrode so the potential between the ph glass electrode and a reference electrode is defined by the nernst equation so the nernst equation is seems to be like this i have discussed this in my previous video but here we are going to discuss with reference to this glass electrode as e is equal to e not minus en into ph because i have already derived this equation in my previous video fine so here are the values so this total membrane potential is a result of difference between the inner and outer charges so here this is the glass bulb this glass bulb and this glass bulb when dipped into the working solution then you can see how it works so here is the schematic diagram so inside this glass electrode we are having the hcl solution so this is called internal ph and uh, here is the working solution so in this working solution say we we are just abbreviated it as ph of acid right or working solution you either way you can write down and this is the internal ph internal ph means the solution which is filled inside this glass electrode it that's ph so this internal ph equation can be written as ei is equal to e not minus en ph i this is just for simply to distinguish between internal and working solution or the acid outside this glass bulb we are having this working solution or acid solution and its potential is can, can be written like this fine if i subtract the equation 2 from the equation 1 then what i will get minus minus plus so these two will be cancelled out here ei minus ea is equal to i have taken this en pha this is plus term minus en phi fine this en is taken as common from there and we can write down it ph a minus ph i so the difference between the potential of the outside solution or the working solution and the internal ph this glass electrode so we can get the potential difference there some how this potential difference is working of this glass electrode so in this case i have drawn here the glass bulb this glass electrode we need to dipped in the solution you might have aware about that so when this is dipped in the solution 
एक जेल लेयर इज फॉर्म आउटसाइड दिस ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन एज वेल एज इन साइड दिस ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन सो दिस ब्लू पार्ट इज शोइंग द जेल लेयर्स दिस इज द ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन दिस इज द इंटरनल बफर विच इज फिल्ड इन साइड दिस ग्लास इलेक्ट्रोड दीज टू आर द जेल लेयर्स एंड दिस ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन दिस दिस ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन विच इज ग्रे इन कलर दिस इज जस्ट ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट टू टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर्स एंड दिस जेल लेयर इज वन थाउजेंड एंगस्ट्रॉम्स और टेन रेस टू दी पावर माइनस फोर मिलीमीटर्स दीज आर द अप्रॉक्सीमेट डायमेंशन ऑफ द जेल लेयर एंड द ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन वी आर हैविंग सम इंटरनल पी एच पोटेंशियल वी कैन से एंड वंस आई विल पुट इट इन साइड द एसिडिक सोल्यूशन हाउ डज इट वर्क सो द एसिडिक पार्ट एसिडिक पार्ट विल कम इन टू द कॉन्टेक्ट विद दिस ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन दिस ग्लास मेम्ब्रेन एंड हेयर वी आर हैविंग द एच प्लस आयोन्स एंड दीज एच प्लस आयोन्स डिफ्यूज इन साइड दिस ग्लास इलेक्ट्रोड राइट एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू वॉश इट नाउ क्लीन इट अगेन आई डेप इन टू द पी एच सेवन हेयर यू कैन सी द रीडिंग Now it is in P7. Once we dip it into the basic solution, now about this glass membrane, when we dip it into the alkaline solution, you can see here the reading is, and how it is possible. So the OH minus ions are coming inside, in contact with this glass membrane. and the inside buffer will releases the h plus ions to neutralize this so this potential difference it measures and if we see the reading in the potentials so here is the potential this is in minus for basic and as you know for every ph unit it changes 59 electron millivolts Here you can see millivolts of acid. So this is almost about this much, and this, the value is positive, right? So this is how, and this is our combined electrode. This combined electrode works. So suppose if we are having this glass bulb inside this working solution, and here is the outer gel layer, and here is the inner gel layer, and this is the internal buffer which is having constant h plus ion concentration and if this gel layer is dipped into the acid solution suppose our working solution is the acid solution it means here is the internal buffer and here is the working solution if the activity of the h plus ions is different in two phases then h plus transport will occur this leads to a charge at the phase layer which prevents any further h plus transport so here i am just showing you it by the small animation say we are having high h plus ion concentration in this working solution and here we are having the h plus ion concentration which is fixed inside this internal layer so this gel layer outer gel layer we are having a thermodynamic equilibrium is established and this thermodynamic equilibrium once it is established then the signal this signal the difference in the activity is further transmitted by the lithium or sodium ions in to this internal gel layer or we are again having this thermodynamic equilibrium will again establish between the glass membrane and the internal buffer and when this signal is transmitted the difference between the activity of the internal buffer as well as from the working solution 
the difference which is measured through this equation that is delta E is equal to E internal minus E acid solution and this is equal to En which is the slope factor and here is the PHA minus PHI and this difference in the pH values of the internal as well as of the working solution is measured as the potential right and this potential is further converted to the pH of the solution so I am showing you how it is working here thanks for watching